The next example, I'm going to show you an equation that requires three steps. Steps, steps two, three, and four are needed to solve the solution. The note. This next example, I'm going to show you an equation that requires three steps to solve. To solve this equation, I'm going to need steps two, three, and four. The reason I know that I need step two is because I have variable terms on both sides. If you take a look at my equation here, I have variables over here on the left side of the equal sign, and I also have variables over here on the right side of the equal sign. Well, it's going to be hard to isolate the variable if we have them on both sides. In fact, it's going to be impossible to isolate the variable. So what I need to do is get all the variable terms to one side. I think the easiest way to do this is by quote unquote moving the smaller variable term. Of my variable terms, I have a 5x and I have an 8x. It's going to be easier, I think, if we move the smaller one, which is the 5x. Now, to move this, I'm not actually going to move it. What I want to do is I want to get rid of it over here on this left side. So if I can make this thing disappear, I'm going to have all the variable terms over here on the right side, and I'll be done with step two. Well, the way I'm going to get rid of this or remove this 5x from this side is by subtracting it. You notice if I take 5x and subtract 5x from it, I'm going to get 0, which is going to essentially remove the variable terms from this side. Whatever I do to one side, I have to do the same thing to the other. So notice I'm subtracting the 5x from the 8x because those are my like terms on this right side. So let's rewrite the equation now and see what we have. So over here on the left side, this is going to give me 0, so all that I'll have left is this negative 7. On the right side, I'm going to have 8x minus 5x, which is 3x, and I'm also going to bring down that plus 11. So notice now I have all the variable terms over on the right side. I'm done with step 2. Now I want to move on to step 3, which is to undo addition or subtraction on the variable side. My variable side now is the right side. And notice I have some addition on this variable side, so I want to get rid of this addition of 11. I'll get rid of that by subtracting it. So 11 minus 11 is going to give me 0. All I'm going to have left on this right side is the 3x. On the left side, I have a negative 7 minus 11. I think an easier way to think of this is negative 7 plus a negative 11. Well, negative 7 plus negative 11 is going to give me a negative 18. So notice that my equation keeps getting simpler as I work down these steps. Now I have a very last step to do, which is to undo multiplication or division on the variable. Notice I do have some multiplication here, 3 times x. So to undo that multiplication of 3, I'm going to divide by 3. Make sure that I divide both sides by 3. Now on the right side, 3 divided by 3 is 1, so I'm left with 1x, or just x. And on the left side, negative 18 divided by 3 is going to give me a negative 6. In this next example, this next example is going to require all four steps to solve. So I'm going to need to simplify each side, get the variable terms to one side, undo addition or subtraction, and then finally undo multiplication or division. So taking a look at my equation, here are my two sides. I have a left side and I have a right side. Notice the right side is simplified. 5x plus 10, those are unlike terms. I cannot simplify the right side. However, the left side can be simplified. So I'm going to start by distributing the 3 on the left side. So if I take a positive 3 times a positive x, that is going to give me a plus 3x. And if I take a positive 3 times a negative 6, that is going to give me a negative 18. Now I'm just going to bring down the rest of the problem. Okay, Still working on simplifying this equation. Notice on the left side I have like terms. I have a 10 and a negative 18. Those can be combined. So a 10 and a negative 18 is going to give me negative 8. Now I'm going to bring down the rest of the problem that I haven't done anything with. So let's see, the 3x has got to come down my equal sign, and over here on the right side, both the 5x and the 10, I'll bring those down. Okay. Notice, now I cannot simplify either of the sides. These sides are as simple as they can get, so I'm done with step one. Now it's time to move on to step two, which is to get the variable terms to one side. As I mentioned before, it's easier probably to move the smaller variable. So I'm going to move this small x, or remove this, this smaller one, this 3x, from the left side. 
To get rid of it on, on the left side, I'm going to subtract 3x. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I do the same thing to the other side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 3x from the right side. Over here on the left side now, I'm just going to have this negative 8 left over, because 3x minus 3x is 0. On the right side, 5x minus 3x is going to give me 2x, and I'll bring down the positive 10. Okay. Now I've got all of the variable terms over here on the right side. So I'm ready to move on to step three, which is to undo addition or subtraction on the variable side. Notice my variable side is the right side. I do have some addition here that I would like to undo. So I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. Over here on the right side, that's going to give me 0, so all I have left is this 2x. On the left side, I have a negative 8 plus a negative 10, which is going to give me negative 18. Getting much closer to solving this equation now. Notice I just have this last thing to do, which is to undo the multiplication of 2. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Uh, over here, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so I'm left with 1x, or just x. On the left side, negative 18 divided by 2 is going to give me negative 9. You notice I've solved the equation. x equals negative 9. So depending on the complexity of the equation, we are going to need either 1 to 4 steps to solve it. Sometimes you'll need them all, sometimes you may just need a few. I hope this video was helpful for at least giving you an introduction.